No, training was going good. I was actually preparing for a fight anyway. Um, this lad's fighting soon. James, War James Webb is fighting for the Cage Warriors world title. So I've been keeping him occupied, training with him, getting some good solid rounds in with him. And we were booked in for Celtic Gladiator in Cork. So because I was already in, in heavy training with them getting, them, getting him ready, and then we had a load of lads on last week, I've been training quite regularly and I've been keeping a high pace in training. So now that I got an opportunity to step in to make my professional debut on the biggest platform in Europe, it's an opportunity I cannot, cannot turn away. Your own personal Jesus. I was in a very fortunate position whereby I was do I'm doing work uh, with Sending Condition with the ISI in Malahide and Owen Lacey, um, one of Ireland's top uh, strength and nutrition coach, he um, was making me do no carbs for two weeks to test a weight cut. And we were already on, on a weight that was comfortable to make 77. So because of that, we were able to take the fight. So it was like everything fell into place. But um, once Chris sent me the text, I was excited to have the pro debut down in Cork and have everyone come. But um, fighting on Cage Warriors, the biggest promotion in Europe, is just a chance that you can't, uh, you can't refuse. Um, with hopefully massive benefits for me if I win, or when I win, should I say, uh, massive benefits for me in the possibility of a, a contract exclusively to Cage Warriors now. I have to win and get the business done on Saturday, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay, you ready? Jay in the black with Let's green. go. The move to professional, it's not going to be a massive jump. Um, I train like a professional anyway. Um, having James Webb, Conrad Iwanowski, Paul Lawrence, Chris Fields running the whole thing, Tom King running the jiu-jitsu aspects. These are hard, hard rounds. We have people like Carl Pender that come in, Philip Mulpeter, Stuart Mulpeter, all some of the best lads in this country that we've ever produced in MMA. I train with them quite regularly. So making the move isn't going to be a massive jump. Yes, I will never have thrown elbows or I will never have thrown knees to the head, but everything else is still the same. So it's going to be more of an experiment now because I get to do everything. There's no, it's no holds bars now. Everything's legal to an extent, but um, I can't wait to get in there. It's going to be fun. And I can't wait to see where my game is at now in the European scene. Someone to hear your praise is someone who cares. Lately I've been getting a lot of rounds in in the four ounce gloves. We've been doing a lot of grappling and a lot of pad work. Um, just by chance because we were leading up to my fight that was meant to be down in Cork. But um, I had to jump in and the four ounce gloves, I can't wait to use them. They feel, um, they feel a lot better, a hell of a lot better. I have power on both hands. I can throw shots from anywhere, but four ounce gloves is a lot different than the Ami gloves. I mean, you get hit with one of them, could be lights out. Now that can happen to anyone, but I just feel like I've got a bit more power than most people at this weight. You're round, personal, Jesus. I'm making the debut, obviously, in Cage Wars against James Sheehan from Team Rhino. Um, I don't actually know very much about him. Um, I've heard his name being thrown around, but he comes from a solid club. Andy runs a great club. They've got solid lads there on the amateur scene, and then lads obviously like Redzer and Neil Siri who've come up through the pro scene. So it's going to be a good fight. He's going to be well conditioned and well trained, and I'm going to be the exact same. So I can't wait for it. The fight can go anyway. Um, he seems to be a good, solid uh, martial artist, not a specific ground specialist or a striker. He's got some slick movement in his, on, his, on his feet and he's got some good grappling. Um, I'm comfortable wherever it goes. I don't really mind. I'm happy enough to show off my striking and I'm more than comfortable going to ground. So I don't go to ground that, that often in fights because I don't need to. Um, I finish most people with my hands, but if it goes to ground, it goes to ground. I'll be comfortable in the situation. Someone to hear your prayers or someone who cares. Now that I'm professional, uh, the sponsorship scene is taking a jump now. It's a, it's a, I can offer them a lot more, um, especially with the platform that k provide on social media, 
and just worldwide access. Um, so special shout out to all my sponsors. Um, D trying to look after my gear. Chop to look after all my food. Wishbone, who are a new sponsor that I'm delighted to have on board today. Um, Lux Media, who are doing a lot of stuff with me. Um, Peaky and Co, who give me this nice fresh haircut. And to um, O'Reilly's, who give me insane support in custom tracksuits and tops and look after me exceptionally well. And a massive shout out to the lads in SPG Swords, because without them, I wouldn't be where I am. Because we're a team, it's a single sport at the end of the day and no one can help me when I'm in the ring, but they can help me prepare. So give it a try, Glenn Drake. Big shot, James, big shot! Presco turning his back here. This is you, you hear James Chris Fields calling for big here. shots. I mean, this, this is a chance to punch him, right not, just, not just stop. maintain this position. There's a good risk, risk, risk work there. Rolls through. Me and Chris have been, uh, have been talking about his, his corner. I love it. I've been trying to go to as many corner, as many fights as possible with him because I'm trying to learn off him. He's so smart and he's so technical with his, his calls and what he's reading the game, and his reading of the game that when he's cornering lads, I mean, you can hear him from outside the venue, he's that loud, but he's so specific and precise and he's repetitive. He, he's not stopping until you listen. And if the position there, anything changes, he'll reassess it and he'll go again. But I'm trying to learn personally off him in a sense of corner, but he, going pro now, I'm ha I have to listen to him. There's no, there's no me start testing my ego or anything. It's, it's tunnel vision, get the job done, and then after it, I can do it on. Uh, last week on Cage Warriors Academy Ireland, me and Chris were up cornering the lads, and I'm obviously trying to learn off him. And me and Chris are both very loud, but there were some loud people in the Team Rhino corner in the likes of Redzer, and I know Andy's a great cornerman as well. Obviously, he's been in the UFC with his lads. So it's nearly a battle of the, battle of the cornerman as well. I mean, both shouting instructions, two fighters in there doing it. I can't wait to do it. And I'm, I know he's raring to go, obviously, as well. So it's a massive opportunity for both of us and a massive opportunity for everyone. Feeling known when you roll alone. Flashing bones by the telephone. There's no way I'm going to Liverpool to not leave my name in people's mouths. Um, if they don't remember the name, they'll definitely remember the shorts. Remember that. But um, no, I'm going over there to try to make a statement. I mean, I'm sure he's going to try to do the same. We're both maybe fishing for a contract or something like that. Looking to advance ourselves in the European stage. But there's 100% chance that I'm going over there and putting on a show. And I know he'll bring it as well because he's a good fighter. Shot. Throw it out. Beautiful body on your side. There you go. Lift the legs. Lift them. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beep. Round the back. Down now. Take second best. Put me to the test. Things on your chest. You need to confess. People see this professional debut as the start of something new. This is just a continuation of what I've been doing since I was 12 and 11 in boxing, judo, all the way up to now. My last year in MMA, learning my craft. This is more or less one of the few final steps before I can hopefully reach that peak of being a UFC champion. I mean, that's everyone's dream. And I'm a 21 year old kid who has a dream and I'm gonna go out there and, go out there and do my best to achieve it. But Cage Warriors, uh, for me, making my debut on Cage Warriors is special. Not many people get to make their debut on the biggest platform in Europe. So if I can go out here and get the victory in an emphatic style and impress everyone at Cage Warriors going forward, this could make my life a hundred times easier. Reach out and touch face. Just telling my family and friends and everyone at SPG Swords, apologies on this fight. I would have loved to make my pro day be on front of you, but I've got to do me. And this is something that I've been searching for and wanting for years. I'm not really someone to call someone out or to, to talk shit. I mean, he's going to show up, I'm going to show up, we're going to fight. And hopefully both of us can put on a show and impress everyone. And well, someone has to come out with the victory at the end of the day. And, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that's me emphatically.
Oh, it's a beautiful round. Oh, 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 oh. What a knockout here, Gary! A beautiful left hook! Unbelievable knockout here at Clam Woods 30. Crown Power. Plaza is on its feet. Respect to young Ian Gary. Knockout power for days. The what medics. a way to make a statement! Oh my god, Ian Gary! Ladies and gentlemen, have we seen the future? I think so! Welcome to the new age. <laughs> now, now that I'm making my uh, pro debut, I have to unfortunately leave the amateurs behind, but I'll be left with some fond memories. There's been some good wins, good stoppages, great crowds. Um, but now it's time to move on from the Irish crowd and get, get onto the European scene. But I will miss, uh, I, have to, I have to give these boys a shout out, I will miss Phil. Phil and Noel losing it to my fights, 100%. Those boys, they know how to, they know how to make a reaction. Look how composed there he is. Ian McCarry is in there. <laughs> Ian Carey is just as comfortable like he's walking down to the shops for a pint of milk. On a final note, um, I want to say thank you to everyone at Cage Warriors, Ian Dean and Graham Boylan for sorting this out and allowing me to, to join the, the Cage Warriors family. And you won't be disappointed. Go round, personal, Jesus, 